Hello, everybody, and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about searching through uh, files, okay? So one thing that I need to make clear uh, is that one thing that I said was kind of off or it, it kind of probably confused you. So when we do, when we use the F stream or something, by default, uh, it has, uh, let's say we're opening test.txt. By default, it has iOS out and iOS in, okay? Now, if we were to override this or put something in it, then it replaces iOS out and iOS in. But if we use off stream or something like that, then even if we put something else in there such as ios in or something like that it still by default has ios out in it and same for if stream so if we call if stream by default it has ios in built into it and anything that we have adds on to what we have before so uh that's if that confused you guys now another thing uh that i said is that uh let me see is that whenever we call iOS app uh, and we have iOS ATE and there, I said that there wasn't really any significant difference I believe uh, but the iOS app what it does is that every single time you input something it uh, it appends it to the file right so even if you search to a different index in the file it will start right into the end of the file that's what app does and it only works for off stream ate lets the pointer start at the end of the file but you're able to search throughout the file from then on okay uh, so uh yeah so just remember that so now we, what if we have a file and uh, let me open my file oh sorry uh Okay, so what if I say this is coding made easy or yeah whatever right but say I want to uh, say I want to override this or something and or say I have this as lowercase or something and I want to change this C to an uppercase right well the only way we know how to do it now is if we wipe out the whole file and recreate what we have over here well what we can do is search through the file find uh an index within the file and then replace that index in the file right uh so this is how we do it so we're going to use the off stream i'm opening test.txt now don't forget to save the file so save okay so for this to work we need to add an iOS in for some reason uh, if we don't add an iOS in uh, when we try to seek to somewhere else in the file it's going to delete everything in the file first okay uh, so we have to add an iOS in so it has iOS out and iOS in and we're using the off stream okay so we're gonna say that if open file is open what we're gonna do is get to that index within the uh, within the file. So files kind of work like arrays, where they start at the index zero. So this is the this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the C is at index eight. So what we have to do is say open file seek P. Now if you were to use the F stream or something like that or or F stream, you'd see seek G. There's two different things. Uh, there's two different pointers. There's a put pointer and a get pointer. When we call seek p, we set the put pointers so uh, wherever we start writing, we start writing from that index. If we call seek g, then when we're gonna get data, we start getting data from that index in the in the um in the file. So right now we're gonna say seek p and we're gonna put eight. And then we're gonna put open file and we're gonna put the keyword put so what put does is that it places a single character whatever in place of another character okay 
and if we run this program let's see what we get so let us reopen the file So as you can see, the C was changed to uh, the lowercase C was changed to an uppercase C, right? So what if you don't want to replace something or whatever? You just want to add something to it. You can't really do that, right? Just so you know, you can't really do that. So what if we wanted, uh, if we wanted to say add something to something, what we would have to do is seek to that section copy that word or whatever that we want to replace or copy the rest of the document that we want to replace add in what we want to add in and then place it back in the file which is seems kind of confusing but in c plus plus there's no default way to um add something to whatever it will always overwrite it okay so uh we can put in a single character right but so you want to put in a whole new uh set of lines or something we can either do open file dot write and put in a constant char or whatever that we want to put in there so we could put in a uh, test and then we could say oh well, we never really learned about string functions yet but we could call the string length function put in our word in there and uh it will display it will replace it in our file or we could do it like we've always been doing it. We could just put two left stream operators and put that in there. So right now it's going to overlap from the capital C all the way to uh, the I, and then everything else is going to be the same. So if we run this, oh, I should have I should have a semicolon there. Okay, so if we open this file. As you can see, it says uh, it replaced uh, code like C O D I with test. Okay, so it started from that index and uh, it got it. So, just to show you it from uh, the get perspective, so what I'm going to do is just change this to an if stream. And what we're going to do is we're going to say open file seek G and we're going to we want to change the code made easy and see by default uh okay what we're going to do is just say seek g and we're going to put eight and then we're going to say open file and we should make a string variable and we're going to say see out that line now by default what would happen is that it would just get this first uh this first word but since we set cg equal to the eighth index from that point on we're going to get that and store that in the line so let's see if we actually if it actually works so oh we, we really never got to see that so let me just put well you know what let me run without debugging So as you can see, it gets the word coding made easy. So it starts getting from that index that you want to do. So for example, if you have um, you have a health or an enemy or something stored in your text file that you want to load, but you don't want to have to cycle through your whole like uh, text file just to get that one document or that one thing that you need. All you could do is you just use CG in order to uh, get that value and if you want to change a value in your text file then you can easily do that by using seek p so it kind of makes it easier and i know uh it kind of makes it uh, a bit annoying or complicated because in this case we have to count the numbers like one two three four five six whatever right but say we had a thousand lines right and we want to say we had like whatever how many different lines of code and we had one thing that said health and uh, our health was 10 or something like that right we don't want to have to count each and every single index 
to find out where health is, right? We want to actually be able to find that word, and then from that word, then we can find out which index we're pointing to, right? Well, we'll learn about that in later tutorials when we learn about string functions. When we learn about string routines and stuff like that, then we will learn about how to find strings within text files uh, using the find method. So I'm going to end that tutorial here. I hope this tutorial was benefiting to you and I hope you learned something from it. And uh, one quick thing before it's done, uh, just like we could call open file dot put, we could call open file dot get to get a single character from uh, the get a next single character within the file. So we could do that as well, just to let you guys know that. So that is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and that's it. So bye.